Okay, so the 49ers have actually met with uh, Benjamin St. Gist. He's got some nice lengthy size for a cornerback. He was originally pl played at uh, Michigan, then he transferred to Minnesota. He's got the six foot three range, 205 pounds. He's got the intelligence. I mean, this guy's... I mean, if you look at his college stats, he didn't have interceptions, but the way he played the game, he can tackle... He's got some solid skills and coverage. Like, he's the kind of guy you want to put in your defense. I mean, if we are very interested in this guy, hopefully we do consider drafting him. I do like his tape. He did stood out in the senior ball. He got invited to the senior ball. This is a guy that nobody's talking about as much. You know, they're not talking about him as much because he's not a big-name prospect. But he's entering this draft class as, like, one of the top guys, but he's not, like, a top guy that you're talking about, like, I don't think he would be like what you call a top 10, maybe like 12 or 11, maybe around there, or maybe maybe a little higher. Depends because he's an up riser. He's rising up the draft boards a little bit because he would have gone as a late rounder. But now since he did good in the senior ball, I think he's going to move up to the early third rounds, maybe, you know, because of his talent. But as far as like skill sets, I think this is the kind of guy you want to build your team around with on defense. I mean, he even tried to play some uh, safety also. And he's played mostly cornerback, but he can be a great fit to play some safety also. So if you need some versatility, you might want to check him out. So this guy from Minnesota, Benjamin St. G's, he's really got raw talent. He's, he's very aggressive, so... When it comes down to it, if you need a big cornerback to match up against the likes of DK Metcalf and other receivers like, like the big ones, like those big receivers, then you can, you should go for somebody like Benjamin Sejis because he'll be able to match up really well and he's very aggressive. So that's going to have to be somebody that can slow stop uh, DK Metcalf. You need to get a six foot three guy to stop him because if you get a small corner, it's not going to matter. He's going to beat that cornerback at any day of the week. But if it's this kind of cornerback right here, it's going to be tough. It's going to be an easy matchup. Simple.